Before earthing and short circuiting the overhead line, all equipment components are laid out and tested in the vicinity of the worksite. For profile free earthing and short circuiting, the worksite should be located as close as possible to a pole. Let's start with the voltage detector. The contact electrode is screwed on and then the insulating rod is plugged together piece by piece. If the voltage detector is damaged or dirty, it must not be used. Additionally, the mains voltage and mains frequency must be matched to the attendant use and the date of the next maintenance inspection must be checked. When plugging the rods together, make sure that the locking is correct. Only if everything is in order, the voltage detector can be put down on the track bed for further use. The earthing and short circuiting device need to be checked before use as well. The clamps must be functioned properly, be corrosion free and move smoothly. Additionally, the clamp should be fully opened to facilitate attachment to the rail and the contact wire later on. The earthing rope must be checked for any discoloration or damage to the insulation before use. Again, only if everything is in order, the earthing and short circuiting device is made ready for further use on the track. To attach the rail clamp, sufficient track ballast is removed. The clamp is applied to the full surface of the rail and tightened securely. The next step is the earthing rod. The five individual parts are checked for damage and dirt and plugged together in the correct order. Take care to ensure they are securely locked in place. Now the catenary earthing clamp is inserted into the receptacle of the grounding rod. The lock remains at E for unlocked, since the earthing rod is later pulled off the clamp during profile-free earthing. The preparations are completed now and we can start with safety rule number 3. Determine the absence of voltage. To do so, switch the voltage detector on. Fister voltage detectors of the KP Test 5 series have an integrated self-test. Only when everything is in order, the green light signals the readiness for operation. A reference measurement on a live contact wire can be performed but is not mandatory for Pfister devices with integrated self-test. Now the voltage detector with the hook electrode is hooked onto the overhead line. The green light signals the line section is voltage free. Now the line clamp can be brought up to the overhead line and fastened. After that, the earthing rod is pulled off so that the supply vehicles can pass the side later without any problems. To ensure that the earthing cable does not cause any trouble, the hook of the earthing and short circuiting device is hooked into the pole or the suspension at a sufficient height using the earthing rod and the earthing rope is pulled tight. In the last step, the voltage detector is also removed from the earthing and short circuiting point. This means that the overhead line is earthed and short circuited profile free and safety rule 4 is fulfilled. The profile free layout still allows supply vehicles to pass.